Hello friends, so welcome to Data Pandit. Today we are going to talk about the difference between uh, checkpoints and compute points. So mostly we have a fair understanding of uh, continuous flow graph and checkpoint and compute points. What are they? So we are kind of comfortable uh, in, uh, in understanding that checkpoints and compute points, how they work and how they are getting generated. Uh, in continuous flow graphs, who does generate these and what are the different uh, advantages and disadvantages? advantage is why we introduced compute point basically because we had checkpoints already in this graphs. So if you compare the best graph and uh, you know uh, continuous graphs then it's a kind of a kind of difference between these two checkpoints and compute point both are there over here and also the working is different than uh, there in batch graphs right. So first of all we are going to understand what uh, what are the you know uh, different uh, things happens if if any component receives a set points or compute points on one of its input flow, right? So uh, any component can have multiple input flow and multiple output flow that we know. And uh, if, if if any component receives any set point uh, on a particular flow, then what it is going to do is it will be waiting to receive the set point or compute point, right, for a particular record on all the other ports, right? If it receives on one port, it is going to wait for it to receive on another port so that it does the things uh, in in uh, in one shot, right? So that is a kind of one particular transaction, right? Then the second, it will wait for all uh, set points, basically, set points or Compute points, okay. Compute points. Second thing, what it does is it is going to complete, uh, you know, complete the computation for a for a particular unit you know, of work where it is working, right? So let's say it's working for a particular checkpoint and unit of work, then you know, finish uh, the pending work, which it finish the pending work, which is assigned as part of a earlier, you know, unit of work. So third, what it does is, is finishes writing the output record to the output record. Finish the output. Finish the output. So what it is, it has to write. It has to write. Okay. It's it's going to finish that process, that part. Then if the graph is recoverable, then what is going to happen is, so the recovery information. If the graph is recovery information would be written will be written if the graph is recoverable, otherwise not. If the graph is recoverable. You know, we can specify this one, whether graph is recoverable or not, we need to go to the settings, continuous recoverable or just continuous, okay? So that we can specify. Then what is happening is, it is going to propagate the side point or commute point to all the output board. So it has finished the work, the particular component and it has written let's say if it is recoverable then recovery information is also stored it has finished the outputting the data to the out output ports of different output ports it has finished everything for a particular unit of work then it's going to propagate the propagates the checkpoint or compute point okay compute point Okay, uh, compute point, okay. So this is the work uh, done by a particular component in continuous flow graphs, right? So let's understand how compute point basically generates. So we understood that a checkpoint can be generated by subscribed component. Subscribed component is responsible for doing that. So depending upon the uh, you know the checkpoint uh, trigger uh, options, right? Whether it is a time interval, whether it is a record driven, or whether it is a, whether it is a file driven, or whether it is a DML driven, or whether it is a queue driven, or whether it is a service. So, so these are the different parameter we have already understood in subscriber parameter configuration in one of the or earlier uh, video session, right? So maybe a D three or D two. Uh, maybe day two, yeah. So, under, so depending upon that, uh, we understood that checkpoint is getting generated. But what about compute points? Where they are generated? So, if we specify that checkpoint trigger parameter as a DML driven, 
that means there is a package parameter which allow us to write the code as part of check after check event or check before these are the different funct functions available and the associated types let's info info is a different type so which has you know uh, which has a diff different fields like record since compute record since checkpoint record since end of file uh, start of the file and end of the file indicator so these relate relevant information for a particular uh, you know a particular uh, flow or particular execution is getting stored as part of info as a type and these check after check uh, event and check before are functions or they can so let's talk about uh, how compute point is gen getting generated so if we specify checkpoint or trigger as a dml driven and so the package functions allow us to write the functions right in, in within that package package uh, transformation we are going to write one of the function let's say check after so after after you know uh, reading uh, each and every uh, record from the from the you know queue or a file the subscriber component is you know uh, execute this function okay and it is going to uh, issue the checkpoint based on uh, this uh, statistics or based on this uh, you know uh, this uh, coding right so info parameter is an info dot record since computer Let, let's say it the, this is the 50th 50th record has been read by the subscriber then this is satisfied and uh, checkpoint info dot record since checkpoint so the compute point is going to you know you know issued after 50th record okay so similarly after 500 record checkpoint would be issued so you know so depending upon the, so this is the if condition basically let me see this is if condition yeah if you know info dot record since compute point equals to equal to 50 then only it is going to issue the compute point so this is how it generates the compute points okay and there is one more uh, parameter called uh, service parameter right so uh, if we specify uh, in a checkpoint tree as a service then there won't be any checkpoint by default but there will be a compute point for each and every record okay for after reading each and every record there will be a compute point issued the inbuilt functionality there is no coding required over here okay but if you specify a checkpoint uh, trigger as a uh, you know service then option as service then there, the, these kind of graphs would, are not recoverable graphs actually so therefore we cannot do the recovery mechanism over here so let's talk about uh, there is one more parameter checkpoint trigger if we specify uh, q so q if we specify then the it will depend upon the generation of the q you know how publish component might have generated that q or you know so if that because q will be storing the metadata related to checkpoint and compute point as well so depending upon the uh, the 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 q specification the checkpoint and compute points are going to be generated so this is how compute point generated basically so i wanted to show that uh, how these are getting generated so and let's talk about what are the advantages and disadvantages of respective uh, these two concepts uh, basically so if uh, we talk about checkpoints then advantage is simple recovery so because uh, each and every component is going to writing the data to the disk after uh, processing a uh, particular unit of work then the recovery is going to happen so this is going bigger advantages uh, regarding the checkpoints but what is the disorder is, is breaking the pipeline because what is happening is a subscriber and any other component which has been you know finished their respective unit of work they are going to wait until the publisher is you know going to publish the report you know for a particular uh, continuous flow graph so if we have many more components and you know because this is going to work as a unit you know one phase basically if we talk about phase with respect to best graphs this is one phase graph actually so there won't be any uh, you know any graph you know to work basically isolation there's nothing isolation over here 
So this is breaking the pipeline because uh, after processing, uh, let's say 10 records, then only subscribe, you know, reading the next 10 records. So this is the just breaking the pipeline correlation and input output overhead because we are going to write many things to the disk in between and buy the many component by all component basically. So there is a disadvantage, uh, you know, to the because the disk input output uh, things are going to happen. And in the event of failure, uh, the playoff records is going to happen, playoff things, uh, re you know, replay of the things is going to happen. So uh, this is uh, that uh, and uh, compute points. Uh, so why compute point point as it is uh, to support the, because it's the uh, checkpoint as uh, breaking the pipeline parallelism, right? So compute point was introduced, let's say, you know, break the checkpoints, you know, in smaller unit of work. So bigger unit of work was uh, divided into smaller unit of work, let's say. So we considered, right, 500 records, there is a checkpoint, but after 50 records, there is a compute point. So the, the, the 50 records would be uh, processed. After 50 records, the subscriber can read another 51 record, 50 records, and then, you know, the pipeline would be maintained, right? But uh, the advantage is, is uh, because uh, recovery is going to be very, very slow, right? So what is going to happen is uh, the, uh, the continuous graph has to maintain the every stage of uh, compute points, right? So every component has to maintain them, the, the respective stages of uh, compute point, basically. So what, uh, so, but they are not going to uh, data to the disk on compute points, but now somehow, you know, because, uh, because they have to replay the you know, multiple things, multiple unit of work, basically, if, if the recovery has to happen. So in case of uh, compute points, but in case of set point, only one short term uh, recovery, right? But in uh, because there are multiple checkpoints, uh, compute point uh, among the, uh, between the two, uh, you know, checkpoints, then the recovery part is very uh, slow actually, basically, and going to be a uh, very difficult to manage. Uh, if we uh, talk about uh, you know, internal mechanism also that. So this is all about the check content compute points. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Uh, please subscribe my channel, and we are going to go ahead with many more things uh, in time to come. Okay, thank you so much.